Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is the growth of a bacterial cell. Now growth of bacteria. Growth of bacteria is orderly increase in the quantity of all cell components. Now this bacterial cell increases simultaneously in its size, shape and weight and further it carries out cell division and this growth of bacteria goes through different growth phases. Now as we all know bacteria are of very small size. So studying individual bacterial cell is impossible. So here a bacterial population is studied. And a growth curve is determined. So what is done? A small number of inoculum from old culture is inoculated in fresh culture medium. And after inoculation, the growth of cell is monitored at regular interval of time. And further, a growth curve is plotted by using the logarithm of cell number against time. Bacterial cell undergoes four growth phases. The first phase is lag phase. Second phase is log phase that is logarithmic phase. Third phase is stationary phase. And the fourth phase is depth phase. So let's see this growth phases in detail. <coughs> let's start with lag phase. Initially when we inoculate a old culture in a fresh nutrient media, the culture do not carry out its multiplication and cell division. Here in the beginning, the cell growth remains steady. So initially when we inoculate a culture in a fresh nutrient media, it tries to adjust in the new environment. So here it doesn't carry out its multiplication and cell division immediately. The growth remains steady. The culture of microorganisms try to adjust in new environment with fresh nutrients, the temperature and pH of media. So it tries to adjust in the new environmental conditions. Whereas on other hand, the cell synthesize amino acids, protein, RNA, enzymes and intermediate metabolic products which are further necessary for growth and cell division of a bacterial cell. The time of lag phase may vary from species to species due to various environmental factors. At the end of lag phase, the bacterial cell starts to multiply and cell enters in the logarithmic phase of growth. So here basically in lag phase, the cell tries to adjust in the new environment. It prepares itself for its growth and multiplication by synthesizing various biomolecules like amino acids, proteins, RNA, enzymes and intermediate metabolic products. And this time of lag phase may vary from species to species. It depends on the environmental factors to which these cells are exposed. So here at the end of this lag phase, the bacterial cell starts its multiplication and cell enters in the log phase that is logarithmic phase of growth. The second phase of growth is logarithmic phase that is log phase. This log phase is also called as exponential growth phase. In this growth phase of bacterial cell, all cells multiply and carry out cell division. Cell division in this growth phase is constant and maximum. So here in log phase, bacterial cells continuously multiply and divide with a constant rate. Here the number of cell increases exponentially with time. In this growth phase, all bacterial cells are small in size and biologically active as they are constantly dividing. So in most of the biochemical and biological studies, bacterial cells from the exponential growth phase are used. So in maximum biochemical and biological tests, the bacterial culture which is used is from the logarithmic growth phase because the cells in this growth phase are small in size and biologically active. 
If we plot a graph of logarithm of cell number against time on x axis, it results in a straight line with positive slope. The multiplication rate and generation time of bacterial cell may vary from species to species under different environmental conditions. And at the end of log phase, the growth rate decreases. That is the cell multiplication and division. The rate of cell multiplication and division decreases and the generation time of cell increases. At the end of the log phase, the bacterial cell enters in a stationary phase. Third phase of growth is stationary phase. The cells enter in a stationary phase. The number of cells remain constant because generation time of cell is very low. So here multiplication rate and cell division rate is very low. It occurs due to various factors like depletion of nutrients, accumulation of toxic waste products and change in pH. Now during logarithmic phase of growth, cell grow exponentially and they utilize maximum number of nutrients that are available in nutrient media. Now this results in depletion of nutrients in the nutrient media, causes accumulation of toxic waste products as well as change in pH. Due to all these factors in this phase, the growth rate is equal to death rate and the total number of cells till the end of stationary phase remains constant. Now here if we plot a graph of log of cell number against time, a straight line parallel to x axis is formed with the end of this phase that is death phase starts. Now at the end of stationary phase, death phase starts. Now the fourth phase is death phase. In death phase of growth, the bacterial cell starts to die. Here death rate is higher than the growth rate and the death rate increases to a maximum at the end of the death phase. Now here in death phase, the rate of death of bacterial cells increases. Here it is because of various factors like exhaustion of nutrients, accumulation of toxic waste products, drastic changes in pH and if here we plot a graph of log of number of cells against time on x axis, a straight line with negative slope will be observed. Here with the death phase, the bacterial growth curve ends and these are the growth phases of bacterial cell. Here with the help of diagrammatic representation, I have tried to show you here growth curve of bacterial cell. Now here in a diagram, I have shown you a plotted graph of growth curve of bacterial population. On x axis, we have plotted log of number of cells and on y axis, we have plotted time that is in hours. Here you can observe four different growth phases. The first phase is lag phase, second is log phase. Third is stationary phase and fourth is death phase. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.